Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Horde series video where I basically focus all my attention on one specific horde. And in this video folks, it is the Bear Creek Hot Springs Horde that gets my full attention. A few ways to take out this horde folks, so this should be fun. Right then, on to the information for this horde. It's basically 50 strong folks. It resides in the northern area of the Belknap region. And basically, this is one of three hordes that you cannot take on until you have reached the Lost Lake region. Now, here are the three locations that you will find them once you have unlocked them. That is our daytime location. From there, a little bit further down here, that is their nighttime water location where they go to drink. And then over to the right, you have their nighttime feeding location. Now, I only have one easy kill area for this particular horde, but there are a good number of very interesting ways to take out this horde, so let's get to it, folks. Right then, as always, I like to start with a conventional method. This will take place during the daytime, and I'm basically going to lure them out of their cave that they currently reside in, and most people will always look to take out the horde, uh, when they're trying to get you at this bridge area here. I am no different, but this is the part that I like to add as my own twist. I do like to use the bike as a barrier, and this does work nicely, folks. The one thing you have to remember if you're doing this is that uh, basically, in order to get over to them, you have to basically exit the way I just did there. Because once I've got the horde's attention, I'm going to go down to the bike, get on the bike and then get off the bike because getting off the bike will take me to the other side of it and from there I can just take this horde out as easy as it gets. So I'm just going to take the time to pick a few of them off while I'm in the cave here because why not they're tightly bunched so I might as well take advantage of that but uh, here we go from here I'm just looking to head down to uh, this bridge area here. It's very handy it just bunches them up nicely so, as I said before, I'm going to get on the bike, and then very quickly, get off the bike. Reload the weapon, and then here we go. <laughs> How easy is this, folks? Yeah, there we go. You're not untouchable, but let's face it, doesn't get much easier than that, folks. Okay, on to the next method. Right, and folks, the next method is what I call the ledge method. Now, I don't expect too many people to actually use this particular method because uh, it's not an untouchable location that you're going to, and it can actually be a bit problematic. This is another one that basically, when you basically jump over that area there, make sure to press the joy uh, stick back from the way you came in order to make sure that you stay on that ledge. That's probably the hardest part of this. As well as this, I am going to take the time to use uh, a smoke grenade just to slow them down so that I can get into position. But uh, like the first method, I'm just basically looking to get their attention. From here, I'll get the gun reloaded and then, yeah, I'm just having a quick look to make sure they're definitely all coming out. From here, I want a smoke bomb around there will be fine and from here I'm just looking to get into position okay once I'm here I'm basically looking to try and take out as many of them as possible and never let them get down to the lower level because although you're pretty much untouchable on the higher spot here the trouble basically comes from below you because if any of the freakers do get to that bottom section they can take a swipe at you and they will hit you so that is why I like to give myself a little bit of time to get into position. And yeah, as you can see, it's that area right there. You simply cannot let any of the freakers get down there. But not an issue in this case, folks, because that is the horde now taken care of. So an interesting way of taking them out, folks, but an effective one nonetheless. Right then, folks, on to the one and only easy kill location I'm going to be showing for this horde. It basically takes place very close to their night feeding area 
and I'm going to mark roughly on the map whereabouts I need to be. So, first of all, thanks have to go to Simon Lee for this particular easy kill location because this is one I did not discover. I missed this one. <laughs> I usually tend to find most of them, but this is one that I've missed. So thank you very much, Simon, for this. Basically, to get there, I start at that bridge and then basically follow the contours of the environment here. And I'm basically looking, once you pass those tents there on the right, you're looking to get up to this location right here. From there, just get off the bike. And basically, when you're up here, folks, you are untouchable. Now, at the moment, these two uh, stray freakers uh, certainly know where I am, but the main horde does not. So, I'm just going to have to use an attractor just as a bit of encouragement, just to get them uh, down uh, to that area, and then from there I will look to get their attention. And in the meantime, I'm just going to take a few pot shots at them from here, because why not? <laughs> but, worth knowing, folks, that... The current spot that I'm at right now, they cannot see me. I'm actually going to have to move down a wee touch uh, so that they can. And you'll know when they can actually see you because they will start running towards you. So I just moved down a touch. There we go. Now they can see me. So I should get the rest of the horde coming fairly quickly. Yeah, very nice. And this shouldn't take too long from here. Now, one thing to point out, folks, before I take care of this horde. There is an ambush camp that is very nearby, and I've already taken them out. But if you don't, rest assured, folks, you are going to get some unwanted attention. And I'll just show in just one second what you're likely to get, folks. Yep, trouble. And I'm not going to be hanging around in this case. But anyways, folks, before I go on to the next method, I'm actually going to show three fantastic locations for getting resources very early game. Right then, folks, here is the first location for getting your hands on some really good items very early game. And the first location is basically the power station in the Cascade region. And it's basically located here on the map, and where the triangle is right now, that is basically the area that you need to get to. Basically, you need to start climbing up all these uh, stair areas until you eventually get to this point right here. And then it is up this uh, rather large set of ladders here. But once you get to the top, this is where all the items are. And there's quite a few in this uh, one area alone, folks. So start off with a proximity mine. Fantastic to have early game. As well as this, you also get one flashbang and one frag grenade. I'm full up on uh, medkits at this point, but there is a medkit there. There is also a melee weapon, a sledgehammer. And then you have a pipe bomb and an attractor bomb. All in all, just for that one location, a fantastic haul to get, folks. Right now, folks, location 2 is actually located in the Belknap region. Albeit in the northern area, it's actually in the town of Marion Forks, and the first house is right here on the map, folks. Now, once you get here, there is a very specific way of getting on to uh, the roof section and into the particular uh, room that all these items are in, and it's right here, folks. As soon as you go in, just look at this lot. One proximity bomb, one attractor bomb, and one proximity mine. As well as that, there's a hatchet there as well. You've also got ammunition. Yeah, that's nice. Right, folks, on to location three. And this location is also located in the Marion Forks town in the Belknap region. Truth be told, it's not very far away from location two, folks. And... Very similar to location two, you require a very specific route in order to access the two window areas that you need to get in to access the particular rooms that have all these items. And this is the first one right here, folks. Once you're in here, there is a rag there as well as some ammunition, but there is also a fantastic sniper rifle that you can get very early. And if you just go through into the next room, you have a med kit and a tractor and a frag grenade, but that's not all folks, there is also a flashbang on the bed there. Once you have all those items, just exit the window here, and then you're looking to go in through the next one here. 
And from here, folks, there is also someone you can loot as well as a melee weapon. But the pipe bomb in the toilet there, very important. And then there is another couple items here, a Molotov and also a medkit. Very nice. Right then, folks, on to the last method, and this is the quick and easy method. I would normally also show a stealth option, but honestly, when you see the horde taken out like this, you don't require a stealth option. You're basically looking to just go into the cave, one grenade, fire it in there because they're all tightly bunched, and then from there, it's just one attractor bomb right there. And that is it, folks. Job done. And there we have it folks, that is this horde well and truly taken care of, and that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching folks, and I hope you all enjoyed it.